Well, welcome back to Base Camp WNC. Well, we're here this morning to install this 3,000 watt solar system on this well pump. And these are the six panels that the owner already has, so they didn't buy the panels in the kit. These are six 250 watt panels. Total of 1,500 watts going into the system, and the system can take a maximum of 1,750. So we're good there. And here is the building they've got with everything in. And let me kind of go in and show you what they've got. Well, here's what they got. The guy had eight batteries all hooked up, 24 volt system. 10,000 watt inverter right here. That's actually the plug that goes to the well. Um, got a disconnect out back. And this is the main breaker coming in from the fuses from they got a fuse connect from the solar panels and they have a little battery charger right here and with the six panels out there they've got 50 watts coming in and over here's a couple old charge, char charge controllers that all burned up but they're all 30 amp charge controllers i guess that was based on that's what the well needs but you got almost 50 amps coming in from the solar panels into the charge controller. So you got 50 amps coming into a 30 amp charge controller, so that ain't gonna work. So let's go ahead and start moving some of this stuff and cut part of this table out and see if we can't get this thing underway. Well, I thought I'd show you this thing. This is a metal cabinet. They want to be able to have some kind of EMP protection on this thing. This is a metal cabinet we're going to modify for it. This was one of my homesteading and prepping for the other 99% finds. We got that at the salvage yard for $25, just as it is there. And the whole system fits real neatly in it. We're going to go from there to install. thought I'd show you this before I start bolting everything up. Well, here it is. It's installed. It's in the little box, and of course, here's the charge controller and inverter and the disconnect, and all the wires coming in and out. The two battery system, We've got 200 amp batteries on it. This right here is the lead that will go if they want into a 220 uh, power line for the battery charger, and it'll maintain the batteries and do them in case solar's down or weak or cloudy days or anything. The other lead right here, this one right here, and this is the well line that comes from the well. That plugs in there to run it. One thing I do want to mention is this right here is the lead that goes into the AC line. It is a 20 amp battery charger that goes into both of the batteries now this can go into the wall right now and that will maintain charge on batteries if you run into a bunch of bad days like i said you can take this thing you can plug it into a generator uh and charge the batteries and if you have to that's why they leave them on a plug you can then take this plug and charge and run and plug that into the generator and there is a certain name for this thing but when this thing is hooked up to ac power or generator the ac or generator the wall the power then comes in doesn't go through the batteries it goes straight into the well pump so that is something that you can have automatic generator you can hook it up ac in the wall or a generator to charge the batteries the only problem they have is this system's been down since last fall and uh, the pipes out at the well are frozen broke. But uh, pretty simple to run. You got a disconnect for the solar panels right here and that's turned on. Of course, told you by the little light that came on. And the fan's gonna come on when I turn this thing on. Here is the AC switch and the only way that thing is needs to be on is for uh, the battery charger This is the on off switch. We'll turn it on And 
the whole world lights up. Let's get over here and get rid of the glare. Let the phone focus. Of course, the AC part right here is zero because it's not plugged in. Right here is the solar. It's five o'clock this afternoon, so it's doing 28 volts. It's going into the charge controller. The battery is at 95% and it's getting 26 volts going into it. And it's set up for 230 volts and 60 hertz. And of course it's down to 1% which is the fan running on this thing. Because the well pump's not on right now. But that's it. If you're interested in this, this is the 300 watt, the 600 and 1200. And we're coming out with a 10,000 in a couple months. So if this interests you, let me know. It's what we do. They uh, in full production with it now. The Carolina Homestead Planner will be more than glad to work with you, hook it up. Very few connections. You can do it yourself if you want to, if you're so inclined. Like it, share it, tell your friends about it. If you have any questions, please ask. See you on the next one. Thank you.